I'm also interested in whether there is a way to to get the media in particular to cover to to eliminate their coverage bias on these issues. So for example, there was a white man named Tony Timpa, I'm not sure if you've seen this video, uh, who in 2016 uh, w- was captured on the body cam, I believe, of a cop who was killed in almost exactly the same way that George Floyd was. Namely, the cop was on on his back, pinning him him down with his neck uh, for 13 minutes and suffocated him to death. All the while, Tony Timpa was was begging for his life. And in fact, the the cops were making jokes throughout throughout the the whole time. It's it's really it's every bit as disturbing to watch as, as the George Floyd video. And the video was uh, kept secret for three years and released in 2019, I, I believe on the order of a federal judge. Of course, that, that didn't inspire riots. Um, so far as I know, the video didn't, didn't even go viral because it, it, it wasn't clearly racist because it was a white cop doing it to a white suspect. And I, I fear that, you know, part of the reason that, um, black Americans in particular, but Americans in general, react this way to the video is is because we've been primed to think that this is only a race issue rather than a an issue with the police in general, which is to say there's an accountability, uh, you know, there's an accountability issue. Often it's police departments investigating themselves um, rather than, you know, having an independent body investigating examples of miscon- potential misconduct. And I don't, I don't know how to get the media to cover, you know, all of these cases, but I, I think that would go a, a long way to persuading Americans that this is an issue you can get behind regardless of what your race is. And, and I think that would go at least part way to preventing this kind of rioting. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think that uh, uh, journalism needs to be far more uh, numerate and statistically um, savvy and ensure that its coverage is in uh, more harmony with the, uh, the actual data. And I think, uh, indeed, that uh, others, I haven't seen polling results, but I wouldn't be surprised if people thought that, um, uh, that uh, more African Americans were shot by police than whites when it's the other way around. Uh, now, of course, the rate per capita is higher for African Americans than for uh, for whites. But on the other hand, the, the uh, rate of violent crime is uh, higher for African Americans than for whites, as it is for uh, Southerners versus Northern Northerners. Uh, those are the uh, two great statistical disparities in crime statistics in the United States. So the the, uh, the base rates have to be taken into account, but I think that uh, you're right. From the the uh, coverage, the fact that uh, the uh, more than half the police shootings that are of, uh, of uh, white suspects never get coverage has distorted people's perception. As is the just the absolute risk of getting shot by a police officer, as opposed to being shot by a, a gang member or someone that you get into a fight with in a bar, uh, which is as I mentioned, 15 times greater.